feature time. That is Lisa the rubbing in the, the door to bump we're about to see because the modified sedans are about to turn it up. 15 laps of journey. Mercedes Benz and Ford Falcon off the front row as we get underway on the way into turn one. Waters leads. Halicus, the Greek gambler, right in there. McCarthy and Wilshaw keep an eye on Justin Domain as well. Of course, last year's modified sedans SA points. Highest score at the end of it all. Those smoke bellowing from the tyre. Oh, big fire. We've got big, 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 big flames underneath the 89. Rob Uren come to a stop. And Domain's in trouble. He's out. Rob Uren tried to avoid the incident and may come to a stall here on the front stretch. Yellow lights come on. But, Phil, I thought that was going to be a barbie. Yeah, yeah big line of fluid down here in turn three and four as well. So... Underway, Waters has almost balked on the start. We'll see what the officials think about it next door, but we roar into action on the way into one and two. Out of two, we stay green. So racing, two down, 13 to go next time by for Waters. McCarthy, Halicus, and Will Shaw looking the quickest he has all night, sitting there in fourth. Further back, we saw these three cars at the first show, Rob Uren, Kayla Knox and Brandon Elphick, they're battling for the minors, but the task with 12 laps to go this time by will be to try and stop the beautifully presented Mercedes Benz of Jared Waters Try as they might, Jared Waters has got this hooked up magnificently around here at the Murray Machining and Sheds Murray Bridge Speedway tonight Poetry in motion as he goes round this speedway. Good battle behind though. Spider McCarthy in the six. Angelo Helicas in the 18. And Wilshaw in the 15. He looks like he's been driving a modified sedan forever. And bear in mind that's far from the case as he goes wide and high in that 15 in that fourth place. Looking to hang on to that podium position. We go further back to Rob Uren, Kayla Knox and Brandon Alphick. But Jared Waters flies round three and four to complete another lap and start the next one. This is lap number six. He's sailing away, but still close behind between McCarthy, Helicus and Shaw. Eight laps to go next time by for the NZ number 92 of Jared Waters. Absolutely smooth out in front when Steve was doing his stint of commentary just then I had to get a video because it sounds wicked. Here at the track as well, the 3.5 litre V6 screaming out in the lead. Further back, battle for second. Halicus, McCarthy, Halicus to the inside. McCarthy back to third, and Will Shaw's trying to join the party too, Phil. Yeah, great little race for second, third and fourth. Forget about the leader, he's gone. The battle really is for the minor places here. In round number one of what should be called the modified Mildura series, not the South Australian series. They're at one, two, three and four at the moment. But out in front, it is still Jared Walters. But we look further back, Angelo Halicus just under inch away from that battle between McCarthy and Will Shaw. As Will now looks to the inside of McCarthy, still can't get it done. That's the battle up on our big screen. The NZ, number 92 of Jared Walters. We go back to the Angelo Halicus. Peter Spider McCarthy and Will Shaw. The rest of them run further back. Uren Elphick and Kayla Knox. Looks like Knox is calling it a day in the 68. But this time by, it'll be two to go as Jared Walters now out to a lead of almost four seconds as they charge through the pit turn. This time, it'll be one to go here in round number one of the South Australian Modified Sedan Series. Our leader is about to put a lap down on the slower driver, Taylor Knox. Doesn't really need to. Sweeps around the outside in turn number three and four. Round one of the South Australian Modified Sedan Series will go the way of Jared Waters. Second to Angelo Halicus. Third to Will Shaw, got the better of Peter Spider McCarthy just with Rob Uren, the best of the locals in fifth. Brand